What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So Google just dropped Android 14 QPR 1 beta 2.1. And uh, what's interesting here is unsurprisingly, our Pixel 8 Pro has not pulled it in, but our Pixel Fold has. And as you can see, it's already installing the update here. It was a very small file size. It should be done here in probably six hours knowing Google's history. But once this finishes updating, I wanna go ahead and do a quick video for you guys to show you how smooth it is, make sure it's all working. There are a couple of callouts here specifically for this dot one release. Since it is simply a dot release, there shouldn't be any new features in this. Unfortunately, we're still probably not gonna see video boost for the Pixel 8 series, but let's jump into it, take a look at the build number and see what we can find. Let's go. Okay, so Android 14 QPR1 beta 2 Point one just finished installing and as we traditionally do give it a little temperature check and you can see we are remaining pretty cool so that is always good to see as usual luckily we never have too many issues with androids updating um, but always good to see consistency on that front let's go ahead and jump into the build but just because this trips me out before we jump into that like I said, my Pixel 8 Pro still has not pulled in this update. It is so strange how these get pushed out from Google, and it always just trips me out. No big deal, but just thought it was funny. So jumping into this now, if we actually go ahead and go right into settings, and then about phone, and scroll down, you can see our new build number is u one b 2 922.010. And just from obviously playing with it in the limited time that we've had, everything is still fluid. The camera capture is still on point. Um, there's still no delay in the shutter lag really that we've seen in the past. And everything is working as you would anticipate. Load times are still pretty smooth. The phone never heated up. Jumping between the interfaces and both screens, the cover display, and obviously the internal display, um, it's worked great. No issues at all. So again, we're not anticipating to see any significant changes in this build. What I can tell you, according to Google though, the main fixes for this minor update is that it fixed an issue with the biometric authentication, such as an issue that sometimes prevented the under display fingerprint sensor from activating while always on display was enabled. It also fixed an issue where in some cases after swapping SIM cards on a device, the device couldn't connect to cellular service, and it fixed various issues that were impacting system st stability and performance. So again, minor update, nothing as we would anticipate being crazy in a dot one release, but yeah, nonetheless, it's out right now. Go pick it up. Let me know if you download it, if you're having any issues. We have not had any battery life degradation. We haven't had any battery drain, luckily. And the phone has remained a pleasure to use as a daily driver. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.